Alrighty, what's going on everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Last time we left off, we finished the Jorvik arc. Uh, so we're gonna go back to Ranvi eventually, but first I wanna collect some of this gear, at least. I don't really care about the wealth too much. Um, but I think this place should lead us to this piece of gear because it is underground. So I was trying to look for something that's underground and... Well, this looks like it goes there. So I'm gonna have to make my way down here. Hopefully I don't get caught. All right. <laughs> Please don't fall off the edge. All right, there's two left down there, I think. Yeah, I spent a little bit of time before I started recording trying to find this place because I don't want to uh no sit back down oh shit it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense why do they always explode as soon as they're touched like I'm thinking the pots are just full of oil and then you you set them on fire with like a fire arrow or something but I guess not I guess there's, there's some sort of chemical reaction inside because obviously as soon as it makes contact and breaks, this explodes. Alright, this seems like the right place. Well, since they're standing next to it... Like if you're gonna stand next to explosives, you gotta be ready to take an explosion. Yeah, I spent a little bit of time, like five minutes, pretty much, trying to find this place. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Avengers, for letting me know. Today, they released the, uh, like, free PS5 upgrade for Marvel's Avengers, so... I'm gonna be playing that on my own, because I've already streamed it before. But, um, yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to actually getting back into that, because I just pretty much finished the Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff, so I'm kind of into the superhero stuff a little bit. <laughs> but I don't want to stream it because, or record it, because, I don't know, I, one of the reasons why I stopped streaming is just because one of the last games I played was Marvel's Avengers, and I found it was... Kind of hard for me to provide some good commentary while playing that. I don't know why. But anyway, instead of rambling about that, I should be rambling about uh, what I was trying to do. Oh shit. These snakes out of here. So yeah, anyway, let me finish my thought. Uh, what was my thought? Oh yeah, before <laughs> before I started recording, I was just running around Jorvik trying to find somewhere that leads underground, and this is the place I found, so. If you're wondering why there's a little jump between where I ended last time and now, that's why. You didn't miss anything, it was just me running around for a few minutes. Pretty much all I wanted to say. Now I just need to grab one of these and blow up the wall. It's also pretty dark down here. I also have to remember that I have a torch. I wonder if I can grab one of these and then throw it high enough? I doubt it. Oh. <laughs> nope. Hmm. I wonder if I could, like, have this close enough to where I can, like, jump on it? Yeah, I don't, I don't know where. But maybe I can jump on it 
and then throw this high enough to uh, get it up on that platform. Alright. How far can Eivor jump? Pretty far. Now we just frag out. Not far enough. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna try one more time. Because I feel like I should be able to throw it up there. Eivor, please. Please just jump. Just jump like I want you to. Thank you. Did it break? Can't really tell. I think it did. I saw some rocks go flying. Oh, look at that. Look at that. What do we get? Tungsten. Oh! Tungsten. That's like one of the final upgrades, I think. I don't know. There's like... There's a bronze tier, there's a silver tier, and then there's a gold tier for your weapons. But I guess it's like bronze or copper. Uh... No, actually, it's iron. Weird. You have iron, and then you have... What was the other one? Titanium? No, nickel. You have iron, nickel, and... Tungsten. And most of my gear is... at the nickel stage, so... Tungsten is the... When I need to get it to like axe. I don't know if there's a tier above it because I haven't seen anything. So. Alright, that works. That doesn't work. God damn it. What I wanted to do was just jump off of this freaking platform here. Also, what's over here? Is this where I came from? I think so. All right. Do we have to take the long way? Can I just... <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> uh, now how do we get back? Oh, now you jump over there. All right. I was gonna miss. Wait for the fire to go out. Oh, there's loot down here. A ball of yarn. Alright. Anything around the corner? Of course there is. Alright, and then we do a nice baseball slide. There we go. Super dark in here. I'm gonna assume I'm, I need one of these. Possibly. I don't know what for. Probably that. Ugh, I hate waiting for the fire. I really do. What guards? I don't see any guards. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, letter to nephew part three. They got me, lad. The bitches got me. I hope you're happy. If you read this, just take the stuff at the Norse temple and run. Tell your mother I'm sorry. All right. Sagittarius bow? What is that? It is actually pretty strong. Even though it's like low, low tier weapon. Increased speed when hitting weak points? Okay. 
don't know if I uh, would want that. I don't know. We'll see. See what kind of items I have. Are we out of here? Yeah, I think this is where we started. Okay. Well, that's done. Now the other place is all the way over here. Alright, I'm gonna travel. Travel that way. I mean, that wasn't too bad. I mean, it was mostly just like... It, it was kind of a puzzle. But it was mostly just trying to figure out how to, uh, you know, get the pots to the right area. I'm going to assume that I need to go to this, like, stairway. Because I'm assuming this thing's going to be underground again. Go, my eyes. Yeah. So I'm going to go over there. So when I was editing the previous session, I noticed um, my mic messed up at one point, which is like the first time it's happened in quite a while. I don't remember the last time my mic actually just kind of got messed up. Like it was, it was pretty much just popping a lot, like popping and distorted. And that's kind of, I guess, how you could describe it. Um, and it it went on for like five minutes, which you know, it's not that bad. I mean, I'd rather have it go on for like five minutes than an hour. But it did kind of suck. I, I was pretty pretty upset. But the the good thing to come out of that was I learned how to <laughs> record commentary directly into Sony Vegas. I've been using the damn program since 2014, I think. 2014 or 2015. Somewhere around there. And I finally learned that I can record my mic directly into uh, an audio track on there. Like before, I would just open up Audacity, which is a free recording program for your audio. So I would just open up that, record whatever I need to record, and then, you know, import that into Vegas. But yeah, I guess it's not called Sony Vegas anymore. I kind of forgot. I don't know. I, uh, you know, there's legal stuff. <laughs> but, um, anyway. I learned how to record my mic into Vegas, so that's that's a good thing. I pretty much tried to recreate whatever I said. Uh, you know, the part that got messed up. Which, you know, it's not that bad. I think I made it a little bit better, actually. But, you know, it's still kind of... It, it sucks because I like having the live aspect. You know, my first initial reactions is generally better. But yeah, there's like five minutes in, uh, I think, not the previous video, but the one before that. I think there's uh, probably like five minutes where I actually had to re-record it, but I don't think you should be able to tell that well. I mean, it shouldn't be noticeable. Hopefully it isn't. <laughs> but, you know. It's... It's not that big of a deal, but it still does kind of suck. <clears throat> so that means I have to start resetting my mic program probably every hour again. Like, I don't know why it happened. It just started happening. Like I said, this is the first time it's happened in 
Definitely this let's play. Definitely this let's play. I'm trying to remember if it happened like before, like back when I was streaming a lot. I think it might have happened a couple times, but I still don't know what the issue is. Because I thought, you know, ever since I changed my audio settings to be like 48 kilohertz instead of 44,100. I thought that might have gotten rid of the problem because now everything's like in sync and everything. You know, everything's the same. So there shouldn't be any discrepancies in the audio. But <laughs> it still happens, so I'm not sure what the problem is. Yeah, I, I don't know. So. If that does happen again, I apologize. But if hopefully I will be able to catch it. Like maybe it has happened before, or it's been happening a lot, but I just don't catch it in editing. Plus it's usually, it usually only lasts for like a few minutes anyway. So it's like, oh shit, there's a key up here. So it's pretty hard to, uh, or it's pretty easy to miss. But the other thing is it, it usually happens like after an hour or two of recording. So since generally I only record like an hour to an hour and a half, most of the time it probably won't happen. But if I have longer sessions, then it's very possible that it could uh, end up having problems. Pants? No. Oh. We got some sort of chess piece. Nope. Nope. Dude, that is kind of weak. Oh well. I don't want to read yet. Oh, the Magus Codex. Codex. Uh, all right. Another silence. Magus opened his mouth, inhaled, and shut it without speaking. We give this permission to ourselves, the woman said. We are the source of our own purpose. None said a word in reply as the woman looked us over. It seemed that she was neither pleased nor dissatisfied with our silence. Then she began pacing the room. Slowly turning about and looking around our hidden hall with an expression that verged on the nostalgia or satisfaction. With this knowledge, she continued, with this understanding comes a great and terrible freedom. A freedom to rise or fall, to live or die by your own volition. This is why our creed cu cuts as cleanly as a double-edged sword. You must take this paradox to heart. The success or failure of our brotherhood depends on your willingness to live in the unfeeling emptiness of this world, as a floss in Tartarus, alone and hoping against hope that a door will one day open and let in the light, and that you shall exit, not alone but with all your brothers and sisters at your side. The woman stopped for a moment to run her hand over a dilapidated, dilapidated stony pillar. She seemed to be reliving, reliving an old or half-forgotten memory, catching herself she stepped away and continued, because they were with you all along, your brothers and sisters, beside you in the shadows. You walked in the darkness in silence, but you were never alone. All right. <clears throat> Dude, I don't know why, but my throat's feeling, my neck, I should say, is feeling a little bit tense today. Doesn't feel right. Hidden One's Contract. That thing, Pacti. Genvis? Genvis? I don't know. Execution. Imperator Severus flouts the terms of our treaty with Aurelius. He has arrived in Britannia to oversee the fortification and reoccupation of the Antonine Wall. Swift and bold reprisal is needed. The, Imper the Imperator must die of poison to avoid suspicion of foul interference. Infiltrate Eboracum Villa with caution. Imperators, Praetorians will be on high alert. Make, con make contract with Centurion Calvinists 
On the morning of AD 3, non Feb, the Centurion is one of us and will provide you with the necessary cover. Contrat Magister Chloe. Alright. So, yeah, anyway, long story short, I had to uh, go back in editing, re record some of the commentary, tried to recreate it as like closely as possible to the original thing. But it's like, I'm not going to be able to say it word for word because then it just would feel unnatural. So I basically kind of rewatched whatever was happening on screen and tried to recreate it as closely as possible. Um, so that's like pretty much the same as what I recorded live. You know. Um, so yeah, but hopefully... That won't happen again, and if it does, hopefully I'll catch it. If not, uh, I apologize if my mic ever gets, like, kind of poppy or distorted. But, yeah. It would be nice to know why that stuff happens, but... Uh, I, I don't know. I just don't know, so... I'll try to keep an eye on that. Cavite, following the order of Caesar Magnus Maximus to withdraw all Imperial troops from the north, our mandate to remain in Eboracum has weakened considerably. I therefore made the difficult decision to cease all operations in the north and west of Britannia, including our bureau in Jorvik. All hidden ones are hereby ordered to return to our bureaus in Londinium and Camelodunum for further instruction. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we found the one in London, which is, would probably be Londinium. Not sure what the other one is. Faded note. Interlopa, seek high if you wish to pass beyond. We have no further use for the tools that have failed us. Alright, let's open this chest. More tungsten! Okay! We're actually getting some tungsten. And... I guess that's it. Alright. I apologize for <laughs> rambling a bit about the uh, mic situation stuff. It's all like technical behind the scenes information that's probably not very important, so... I apologize. But I'm just trying to find things to talk about. Plus, I, I feel like it would help to uh, kind of be honest about certain problems that may arise, and if something seems like weird in the video, like something doesn't look right or something doesn't sound right, it would probably be a better idea to try to explain why that is instead of just pretending like nothing's wrong. I don't know. I try to be as transparent as possible. So, anyway. Now I'll do my best to make sure my mic sounds good. My audio sounds good. It's the place we... Oh, it is the place we left. Jeez. Anyway. Um... I kind of want to just go back to Randvi. But I kind of want to do this mystery as well. Where are these toy goats, child? I keep them safe elsewhere. My sister and I made them, and they are the finest in the land. I'm not sure about being the finest. But I do love them, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm pretty sure like I have enough. Tank near. I will take it. Wow, thank you. I did it, sis. I sold one and did it. Sis, sis, I did it. Someone bought a goat. Well, what about my goat? Where are you going? Uh. What about my goat? Did we just get scammed by a kid? Probably. I don't know where she ran off to. 
There's a goat. What about over here? Is this marker like super far away? Dude, it's all the way on the other side. No, that's not the right one. <clears throat> Alright. I'm just gonna go up here, see if I can find anybody. I guess we're supposed to just chase her. Well, at least she stopped. <laughs> she stopped for us to catch up. Oh God. Oh, this got really sad. Sister. This is your sister. We made the goats together. But the cold took her last winter. I promised her I would continue selling our goats. She said they can bring warmth into the hearts of others. Here, it's yours. I hope it will keep you warm on your travels. Goodbye, nice stranger. <laughs> Damn, dude, that got real, real quick. Okay. The Yule Goat. Alright, so I guess we just pay our respects. Rest, spirit. The legacy lives on with your sister. Alright, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. <laughs> you know, maybe I should just finish up these mysteries. <clears throat> also, can't tell. My voice is starting to go. I don't know why. Not like I've been using it that much. But today is just like... Nope. We're losing it. By the end of today, I'm probably going to be like... <laughs> I can't speak anymore. I've been talking too much. There's another way of the bear over here. Oh yeah, one of the things they did today, um, they added a new seasonal event. So if you remember the Yuletide festival around like Christmas time, the winter. Um, they added a uh, seasonal event at the settlement at Ravensthorpe, and they did that today as well for Easter, I guess, because I think Easter's in like a couple weeks. I'm not really sure. I don't know the exact date, but I'm pretty sure it's coming up soon. So they added an event for that. This chicken is trying to attack me. If they see me, this will get messy. So yeah, I got a message when I started recording. Um, I was like, hey, there's these, there's a new event thing going on. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so maybe we'll check that out, but... Eh. And it also has me wondering if that's the reason why my boots just disappeared. Because... What I was wearing... It might have been from the Yuletide Festival, so maybe when they updated the game, they just took away all that like seasonal gear, and now it's just gone. But I don't know. It would be weird if they did that. It just wouldn't I'm make any not sense. Stamford, rob me of my coin, rob me of my house. To hell with it, rob me of my wife. But may God strike you where you stand if you rob me of my pie. Oh. The pie. You can't let the pie go. And that that would be the last straw. What is this about God and pies? Someone stole my pie, and I, a skilled sniffer, am going to weed that pie thief out. All for a piece of pie. It is no ordinary pie. My pies top any other pies, and the blasted pie thief knows it. Oh, the smell. Oh, the smell! The thief went down this road! 
Come out, thief! I know you're here. I can smell my pie. The thief should not be far. I will find that stuff. Mm, fragrant of melted butter. Comforting. Oh. Aha! The thief came by. I am on the trail. My pie is near. My nose does not lie. Come out, thief! All right, we're gonna go track down this pie thief, the worst of criminals. How dare they steal a pie? I smell it. Oh, the thief must be near now. I recognize my pies are lured to any nose. Come out! Come out! Mmm, the aroma of a pastry baked just right. The thief is near! Alright. Use your nose. Where is he? Or she? I think this is just the right amount. It's a kid. Oh, Caught, scoundrel! Now, give my delicious pie back! Delicious? Your pie was blander than my late father's face! What did oh, you put snap. In my pie? Oh, snap! The smell, this aroma, it's never produced such an effect before. I added some honey. It'll enhance the berries by a bit. Good God. It does enhance the sweet smell. This is remarkable. <laughs> Unheard of. A miracle. <laughs> okay. So the pie is actually better than it was. It seems like this child could make an extraordinary baker, and Jorvik could use one less thief. <sighs> well, it does smell spectacular. You have a keen sense for the culinary arts, child. You want a job? God's piss of luck! Thank you so much, you won't regret it! I have so many ideas! <clears throat> Stop stealing the pies. Oh, thank you for your help. Come by my stall, should you have a craving for pie. Well, can I actually get some pie? I, I kind of feel like pie now. Alright, so... <laughs> apparently his pies weren't as good as... Uh, you would think. I mean, making a pie without really any sugar? Like... <laughs> it sounds like before it was just, you know, pie crust with some fruit or berries, and that's it. And let me tell you, I've tried, like, making stuff or cooking stuff with fruit in it, like pancakes, and most of the time they just, ugh, doesn't taste good. A delight to any mouth. Blueberries, raspberry, and honey. A heavenly combination. You have a pie for the trouble. Really? Where? I want a, I want a pie. I'm not going to get a pie. You lied to me. You lied to me, game. All I wanted was a slice of pie. Alright. Yeah, but I've tried, like, making... Pancakes with uh, blueberries or bananas, you know, that type of stuff, and it just didn't turn out. Like, it tastes, it has this weird taste. And it's like anytime I try cooked fruit, it just, it's this weird, weird taste. And I'm pretty sure it's because generally there's no sugar added. But adding sugar or honey, that would probably make it taste a whole lot better. So I imagine his original pies would probably be kind of, eh, not that great. It would just be like, kind of probably bitter. Bitter and bland. Oh, can something be bitter and bland at the same time? Possibly, I don't know. That man needs a push, or a good scare. Baptized, the bigger business will be. Mm. 
one does right. not receive the Holy Spirit under the watchful eye of God simply to improve trade. Oh. A moment in frozen water is a minor bit of suffering for a lifetime serving the Great Father. Oh, he didn't fall off. Come Do on. It. I'm trying. A moment in frozen water is a minor bit of suffering for a lifetime serving the Great Father. Do it. One cannot that man become needs one a of push God's children or a good without scare. going through the proper ritual. Dude, I'm and trying to push him into the freaking water. <laughs> well, I guess I'm baptized no now. No wonder people avoid your market stall. You positively reek. Dude, I don't want to hit him. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to hurt him. What if I just take off my uh, my weapons? <laughs> well, that man needs a push or a good scare. Well, that didn't work. Get in the water. Obviously, I'm pushing him, but what about this guy? This guy has speaking I have a things. Delicate body. The cold will take the life out of me. Is this the I guy? Have a delicate body. The cold will take the life out of me. Um. I don't know. You can swim. There you go. Cold. Cold. The ice waves are taking me. Save. Hey. This is not so bad. Good God, at last. I, I see. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit within us all. You are now a child of God. So, I, was, I was just targeting the wrong person. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> go forth and walk his holy steps, new child. If his steps go to the park, then so be it. But first, I could go for a nice swim. Yeah, I thought it was this guy that I was trying to push in. Thank you for getting that man into the water. We had been waiting for too long, but we are patient. Anyone keen on the teachings of our Lord is welcome. Perhaps... No. <laughs> no. Yeah. We, we got our own stuff. I didn't realize it was the guy in the boat. See, there's so much distance between them, it's like, they're not like in this together. I thought it was just this guy, but no, nope, guess not. All right, I think we're finally done here. Like I said, I don't really care about the wealth too much, so we're just going to ignore that. And let's go back to Ranvi, see what uh, he has to say. <laughs>